Hey guys, so this is the second installment. I'm going to show you how I spliced an inline fuse on these cheap Harbor Freight multimeters. If you look inside these newer multimeters, they have a small fuse that's soldered on the circuit board. And once that fuse goes, you pretty much have to get a new meter. The trick should help your multimeter last a bit longer. So this isn't actually the textbook way of doing this. That would be soldering, like in my last video. But I know this will work because I've done it plenty of times. I'm going to be using wire cutters, heat shrink butt connectors, and an insulated terminal crimper. Alright guys, let's get started. So I'm going to take my red meter leads and lay them out. And I'm going to make my cut around here. So I'm just going to mark it here and then mark it here. So now I'm going to make my cut. and get rid of the excess. Just gonna make sure I didn't get any extra strands. And just line it up. So now I'm gonna get my wire strippers and take about a quarter inch. Take a quarter inch off of this side. Now I'm going to get my crimpers and my butt connectors. And before I do anything, I'm going to twist this wire a little bit. Then carefully put this through. Make sure I got all the strands in and use these crimpers to crimp it down. Okay, that's a secure hold. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Make sure you get all the strands in and crimp it. Okay, now that that's crimped and secured, I'm gonna use my heat gun and these helping hands and I'm gonna heat it up. So I'm going to start from the inside out. And I'm going to let that cool down for a little bit and then do the other side. The lead should look like this 
And like I said in my last video, if done correctly, the inline fuse won't affect the resistance in the meter leads. Now I inspected the work and made sure there's no punctures in the insulation tube. Now let's test it. Hey guys, so we're gonna set this multimeter up and don't forget to put your fuse in your meter lead because that's what I forgot to do and I was trying to figure it out. But anyway, um, this is what I do. I like to knot the ends of my meter leads like so. And let's plug in the red lead first and then the black lead. Okay, so I'm gonna check for resistance or ohms. So I'm gonna turn this on and this should go to zero. which it does. And then I have three fuses, which are all good fuses, so they should all go to zero. So the first fuse is at zero. Second fuse is at zero. And the third fuse is the same. We're gonna be testing a battery on a GX470 and I had the headlights running for about two minutes and I have my safety equipment on. So this is a good battery. We tested it last time. So this should drop to about 10 or 11, then spike back up again. All right guys, so that's how I fuse my meter leads. I really do appreciate everybody watching and I'll see you on the next one.